All righty. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> this video has been a long time coming. I announced it on my Twitter uh, long ago that I was that I've, that I've been working on it. Ugh, sorry. Um, and I'm very excited to introduce episode one of the could be mini series could turn into you know a whole thing. Um, I did say that I wanted to go back into you know fitness related content more um as i am very into fitness i'm very into working out you know all that fun stuff so welcome to episode one of what could be you know a full-blown series uh a noob's guide to the gym by you know your boy crap misty i will always be honest with you guys this video is you know you can take it you know with a grain of salt or you know like however you want to take it it's more of a comedic purposes but um just more on like my perspective and like you know types of people that i see in the gym that you know people who people watching this video that also you know work out or people who are just starting to work out you may also re relate to this uh in some ways or maybe you see things that I don't and, you know, feel free to leave that in the comments. Like, hey, you are blatantly wrong. Or, you know, yes, you are right. I've, I've seen these types of people. But also, you know, person A, B, and C. You know, all that. So, yeah. I'm excited. Let's get the ball rolling. So, ooh. I didn't realize presenting this how bright this slide would be. My apologies. Uh, number one, the high school goblins. I feel like everybody could relate to these. Uh, they roam the gym in packs of three to five. If you were like me and go to, you know, like more one of the more cheaper gyms in the area, um, you know, a gym with like a membership that's, you know, more affordable to people who are in high school that, you know, might be paying for it themselves or you know, their parents are paying for the gym, and, you know, this is, this was a good compromise compared to paying, you know, 60 bucks a month for a quality gym like Good Life, like a one that I go to, or a Fit for Less, uh, another gym that I go to. Uh, you know, they'll carry a speaker, blasting their own music, you know, kind of kind of like as, like, a tribal, like, mo like morale boost, uh, because most of the time, like, the, the music in the gym is just not it. Unless you go to, like, a pure muscle or, like, an actual bodybuilding gym where, you know, they play actual, like, good music, then there's a reason for it. Uh, cracked off of three scoops with her older sibling, C4, or from a tub of pre-workout that they have all chipped in on. Uh, probably a bigger tub because you won't get very far with a 20-serving tub of C4 or anything like that. So... Yeah, they also probably all share the same tub of protein. I know when I was in high school, uh, protein was a bit more expensive, and making money back then was a little hard. I think the minimum wage was a lot cheaper too, so uh, <laughs> protein was hard to come by, so I used to share a big tub of like Arnold Way with like one of my buddies, so I'm pretty guilty of that. Uh, they're probably, they also, there's a good chance that they're going to the gym like, that the gym that they go to has, like, a summer bra program. Uh, it's, like, free for students or, you know, like I said, they're paying for it in their parents' card. Uh, they probably spent a lot of money on some Gymshark or some, like, Young LA because that's what they see on Instagram a lot or on YouTube. Uh, they're pretty harmless, in my opinion, and they're seen more as, like, an inconvenience uh, just due to the fact that they take up many people on one machine whether you know it's the like preacher curl the tricep dip machine uh for fuck's sakes even the pec deck when i hit chest i usually do flies last whether it's high pulley or um like pec deck and every time i turn around i want to go do it there's like a pack of three on there or like even four and i can just kiss that part of the exercise goodbye or I go do some, like, you know, dumbbell chest flies, but I really don't like those, in my opinion. Um, yeah, and they're probably camping it for a good 45 minutes, so at that point, you're well into your own workout, and like I said, hopefully you have some, like, good alternatives in mind. Uh, they're probably hyping their homies up on the bench press, uh, regardless of the fact that they have a big-ass arch in their back, and their ass is 
probably up in the atmosphere off the bench, but they hit it anyway. Um, it's most of the time, not most of the time, some of the times, though, I find that they are actually genuinely pretty, you know, nice people. Uh, I find that if you have some size to you and you actually, like, talk to them, they're actually very nice. And might ask you a lot of questions about, like, oh, like, what's some good exercises or, you know, like, what's a good brand of supplements, you know, stuff like that. So, all, overall, they're not bad, just could be an inconvenience, but, you know, to each their own. People, ooh, people who bring a tripod to the gym, uh, these are actually in two specs, in my opinion, and specs meaning class or, you know, if you play WoW, you know what a spec is, so. <sighs> spec A, females who bring a tripod. Um, if you are on Instagram, TikTok, all that fun stuff, what I mean by that is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, if you watch, you know, Joey Swole, all that, the Jim Reaper, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I feel like I don't have to defend my point here. Uh, if you see a tripod and it is soul-bound to a female lifter, unless they're powerlifting, which I'll get more into that later, um, stay very clear away uh, for your own sanity. I like to make a comparison that looking at a tripod is actually looking at Itachi's Genjutsu. Um, he doesn't even need to look at you, he just need to look at the ring and you're fucked. Like, it is visual Genjutsu, and you'll probably see yourself on a TikTok or an Instagram video, uh, and the editor, aka the chick, or whatever, honestly, does, chick or man, doesn't matter, um, will paint you to look at the villain, even if you look over it a second, it doesn't matter, because p people in the comments are pr probably gonna call you out for being creepy, so be prepared to be, you know, part of the latest TikTok trend, or be prepared to be tagged by your friends, because they all saw you trying your hardest not to look creepy, but you got caught anyway, best to be clear for your mental health. Whoa. A little sneak peek there. Um, spec B is powerlifters who record their sets. I have people like this at the Good Life Gym and like the Fitfulest that I go to. Um, they are very approachable as long as they, you know, like they're resting and you're not like trying to interrupt them like mid set. Uh, just walk around. Honestly, just walk around them. Uh, if they're if you see a tripod and they're recording. They're honestly, like, recording, probably, like, they're recording their form. You know, like, if they're trying to hit a weight or, like, they're trying to hit a set and they feel off about it, they'll probably, like, record it just to see, like, where their form is. Genuinely very nice people. <laughs> yeah. Um, honestly, uh, like I was saying, uh, genuinely very nice. Uh, they don't care, you know, like if they look through your, if you look their way and probably even want you in my opinion to look just because they're probably deadlifting six plates and that's fucking awesome to look at in my opinion. And yeah, all in all, this spec, this spec is much safer and friendlier. All right, and now powerlifters in general, uh, my personal favorite, uh, as you know, I myself do powerlift and spec a lot into you know strength training. Uh, totally unbiased, by the way. Uh, they have gone down the righteous path of strength training, uh, forsaking the way of the shred. And if they are like me, they are two scoops deep into some nasty, delicious batch twenty-seven. Um. And honestly, in my opinion, unbiased, by the way, probably some of the friendliest people at the gym. And if they are mean, then they got they got to check their ethics and morals because every pilot out there I've ever talked to, yes, they like to brag about their lifts, but they are also very nice people to talk to. Uh, very humble, I think, in my opinion, because they know they're strong. So uh, if they're like me, they'll probably have, you know, the AirPods will be over your headphones on you know, looking super pissed off in order to hype themselves up for, like, a heavy set. Uh, they will have a massive gym bag. I have a... I, myself, have a big-ass gym bag from Gymshark, and it's fantastic, so they can hold all my uh, equipment, like my belt, my strap, straps, my wrist wraps, towel, water, supplements, chalk, if your gym allows it, headphones, and a change of shoes, perhaps. I like to 
deadlift and squat in either tri base rain fives or project rock fives they are more than just a name they're pretty hype shoes uh they might even have their own uh clips if the gym you go to is scarce in clips or there's just not enough to go around they'll have their own um they can be seen listening to some hard rock or my personal favorite anime hard style on spotify and you can never go wrong listening to that so yeah all in all very awesome and approachable people and i definitely guarantee if your gym allows deadlifting i know some gyms don't um like i know like world gym they have like cut out uh deadlifting like mats you can put under your barbell it's like an inch or like two off the ground it's not really a big deal or if like if your gym has power racks then you know all power to you so yeah all right uh the older generation um these folks claim that they were repping your max in high school or they swear they rebenched 405 back in the day repping some comfy loafers some nike airs you know some classic thick running shoes a good old-fashioned harley davidson t-shirt stained or not and some nice comfy cargo shorts or your favorite <laughs> basic gym shorts or honestly probably like champion sweats or like wilson sweats i see that a lot uh, repping the lifting belt no matter what just keep that back straight and that back painless no matter what machine or exercise they're doing uh these are a special kind of site in my opinion they are quite numerous but they do in fact carry many traits that seem to you know tie all together in what i call the super spec uh they you'll see these folks on bikes cable machines easy move stack machines um you know taking their sweet time don't really see them on their on their phone in between sets they even have like a smartphone or a mobile phone uh or there's that one old guy you know he's got some muscles on him and he's like full stacking the tricep push down machine with horrendous form he's putting his whole body into it and not actually isolating his triceps there are some however who do in fact like have been lifting for like ever and they are very nice to talk to because it's always nice to get genuine advice from other people who go to the gym it's very humbling and it also gives you a better insight into what it really means to like work out if your knowledge is limited uh tops wise honestly i see a lot of them in their mcu like punisher tank tops or some like random team from the nhl um so yeah pretty awesome uh great people Uh, you know muscle mommies pretty self-explanatory no need to go into detail moving on all right gym bros uh i see a lot of these a very volatile type and i'll get more into that later uh they're either very nice and can actually give sound advice or they are not so pleasant to be around and in fact their presence is actually uh inflicting a debuff onto those around them uh making them unhappy uh, or, you know, they'll walk up to you and, uh, give you unwanted tips that you didn't need, didn't know that you didn't want, uh, whether, you know, you're curling or whatever like that, and then you turn around and they're, like, full stacking the cable, uh, the cable machine, doing some, like, easy bar curls and, like, throwing their back out, but their form's great, but yours, uh, apparently isn't, but, you know, that's besides the point. Uh, they also probably slam the weight stacks on any machine or bell or barbell, no matter what weight it is at. And to quote Dom Mazzetti, aka uh, the professor, don't even think about slamming weights or slamming that barbell unless you're pulling a bare minimum of 315. I think that is very, very good. I totally agree with that, honestly, and I'll argue, I will die on that hill, uh, as a matter of fact. Um... They probably do this to establish dominance in the gym, uh, you know, like a little territorial dominance, and to let them know that they, to let everyone know, and you, that they also work out, not just you. Uh, Attire-wise, I, you know, the picture on the right is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you know, I'll throw in the basic stringer, you know, some 5-inch run shorts, 
or maybe sweatpants if they don't train legs, just so you know, you're not, they're not giving you ammo to chirp them with, or you know, the good old Converse's or some clean ass Jordans. They got some nice Jordans, I'm not gonna lie. All right, and the mass monster. Uh, first off, say goodbye to all the 45 pound plates in the gym. Unless it's a private gym, then you have nothing to complain about. Uh, the gif on the right of Ronnie Skol Coleman about to squat, I think that's like 800 pounds or whatever. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory of where all the 45 pound plates are, uh, went. Uh, let's see. Probably don't have to question if they're natty or not, but you still have to admire that they, uh, that they put the work in. If they have a gym film crew with them, please let them be unless they are not filming. You know, but gauge that for yourself. I, you know, see some videos that addressing that fact that, you know, they get pretty irritated when people are coming up to them while they're trying to work out and stuff like that. Unless they're, like, in between sets. So, uh, like I said, gauge that how you are. Don't use this as a reference. <sighs> Honestly... Yeah, they, they probably want to look like a character from Baki. They also probably chug protein straight out the blender and have a playlist called I Want to Be a Big Boy. They also have a high caffeine tolerance and can probably tell you every single ingredient that was on the original Jack 3D formula and they swear by it and wish it was still being manufactured today. Fitfluencers, uh, honestly, I can probably make a whole video just on this subclass uh, alone. Uh, on the bottom, you see more plates, more dates. You know, Derek, um, Seabum, Daddy Seabum, Chris Bumstead, four-time Mr. Olympia, Mr. Set the Standard, and your boy Greg Set. I love these three to death. I highly recommend watching their videos. They are very nice people from what I've heard. Very humbling. Uh, all in all, my main recommendation here. But... Uh, some fit influencers are, I will say, fitness influencers. Uh, can be good or bad. Honestly, depends on you know personal opinion. Uh, don't be fooled by potential pyramid schemes or products they are pushing. Um, yeah, I will say though, uh, from my experience, I haven't tried Gorilla Mind. I think that's what uh, Derek has, and Greg to set supplements. But I will say, C bumps pre workout. And Sea Bums way taste fantastic. They're awesome. So if there's like one like fitness influencers like supplements that I personally have taken that I recommend, it's definitely Sea Bums. Uh, and like I said, there are some good genuine ones that actually make awesome, you know, wholesome fitness related videos that I highly recommend. AKA these three below. <sighs> um. And yeah. Uh, you know, like, workout program-wise, I can't say much. Honestly, I can also probably make another video just, like, talking about, like, basic exercises that you can do, like, to get you started. It's not very hard. Um, a lot of people inside and outside the gym think that, like... Oh, one sec here. I'm recording this, like, all in one take, so... It is a lot of talking. Um, people inside and outside the gym seem to think that you gotta do like all these like intricate exercises in order to like build muscle, but you can progress very very far into your fitness, you know, aspirations in your career just with very basic exercises. I think my next video, if I don't decide to make it about like the fitness industry, um, will probably be be like a basic introduction to working out. Honestly, I can argue that that should have been the first video but I found this way you know funnier to make in my opinion and you can go very far with basic exercises and you know focusing on you know getting your compound movements down because if you can get good form with your compound movements then that builds a very strong foundation into you know merging into like other exercises and getting like other then you can kind of like do like the more like intricate exercises and stuff like that but all in all, I'll see if I make that my next video. So, yeah, moving on. And last but not least, we have the casual newcomer, aka potentially you. Um, who knows? You probably 
could have worked out in like high school fitness class so you had some knowledge going into the gym you know working out by yourself or you played sports in high school like football and maybe your coach made you work out but brand new to the gym signed up at the closest one to them or the ones that their friends all go to um, they might train with a more experienced friend or someone who's also new uh, your form might need work but the dedication is there people do see it uh, honestly some of the nicest people I've ever encountered were people who were like new to the gym goals to bench 225 that's just a general statement just a little meme statement 225 usually symbolizes that you got the bench press down pat and you're no longer a newbie anymore so that's probably you watching this video this is directed at you you picked whatever comfortable gym attire you had on threw on your old runners if you didn't already invest uh, into a pair of lifting shoes probably got some creatine from your local GNC that's 75 fucking dollars right now because I don't know why creatine so goddamn expensive. Uh, C4 because it's the only pre-workout you've ever heard of. And a tub of Revolution Protein because their ads are absolutely everywhere. And you've been watching C-Bomb recently, Bradley Martin, etc. And you probably just discovered Lean Beef Patty and to that I say enjoy your newest influencer crush. Uh, and I wasn't talking about Patty, I was talking about Daddy C-Bomb. If you took fitness class in high school, like I said before, you're probably still following the split your teacher gave you to fill out in your notebook to track your progress. And like I also said before, you also have a buddy that's probably more experienced than you. Uh, you're also very lucky, though, because learning everything about the gym is actually a very fun time, and it's not as scary and overwhelming as you think. The only downside about it is that it does take a lot of mental, uh, in my opinion, to go work out again and again and again especially when you start working out uh once again to quote the professor aka domizetti aka bro science the day you start lifting is the day you become ever forever small uh you will never be as big as your pump but it doesn't mean you can't always admire your pump because admiring your pump just means you have something to look forward to in the future there you go add my own oh, added my own little take on it Genuinely, I'm very happy you stumbled upon this video. Um, there's some, you know, like, th this video is, like, semi-serious. There's some comedy and slander. But, like, it's also relatively informative. Um, if you stick around, you'll see that I, I do have some stuff to teach you from, you know, behind my computer screen. I don't really do, like, fitness vlogs or anything like that. Maybe I should. Uh... And I'll do my best to educate you with what I know. But, you know, what, I can do my best to educate you with what I know before someone with a kinesiology degree uh, comes and absolutely obliterates all my points. But, of course, now I must say, welcome to a, nudes, a noob's guide to the gym. Uh, I hope you have a great time. I'll be making quite a few of these videos so please stick around um if you have any questions at all you can always dm me on twitter um dm me leave a comment down below i do read all comments by the way so if you leave your question down below in the comment section i'll answer honestly whether you're leaving a positive or you know a negative comment you know talking shit about, talking shit about my video or um disproving everything i'm saying i'll respond no matter what so but if you do have some honest you know fitness questions you want to ask me i'll do my best to answer um in, from my perspective and then you know who knows someone might reply to that comment and give even better perspective but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys next time